Helping you live healthy this morning, stress incontinence is the most common form of urinary incontinence in women. In fact, an estimated 15 million adult women in the U.S. are affected by it. What exactly does it mean and how can you treat it? Gastroenterologist Dr. Roshini Raj joins me this morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so let's start with what exactly is the stress urinary incontinence? Sure. So stress urinary incontinence, or SUI for short, refers to those involuntary bladder leaks that, it, that can occur when people are, you know, putting some sort of pressure on the bladder. And that could be a simple action like coughing or just sneezing or even exercising. And, you know, if those uh, pelvic floor muscles are not able to tighten enough at that moment, you can get an involuntary bladder leak. So how can you determine whether you are suffering from SUI? Well, you know, if it happens once in a blue moon, I think it happens to almost all of us women, especially. But if it's affecting your life and it's happening frequently enough, it really can cause stress and anxiety. It can be embarrassing. Women sometimes have to wear pads or even diapers, you know, and that really can affect quality of life. So that's time when it, it's a time to really do something about it. So how do you treat it? So there are very, a variety of different treatments, but now there's the first FDA cleared non-invasive technology treatment called Anovo, which is actually a, a, a pair of shorts that you put on, you wear for 30 minutes a day. Um, and after 12 weeks, it can significantly, significantly reduce these involuntary leaks. It works by delivering pulses, so electrical pulses to the pelvic floor muscles to cause contractions. I'm sure you've heard of Kegels. These are these you know, pelvic floor exercises that women were supposed to do to strengthen those muscles, but actually about 50% of women do not do them properly. So this takes all the guesswork out of it. And through the shorts, you're able to do those contractions without having to think about it. Do you notice this happens more often to women after they say have a child? Absolutely. So it can happen to any woman at any age. Um, but it certainly can happen more often during certain time periods during a woman's life. So after childbirth, during menopause, um, these are some of the common times where women may, women may experience it. And unfortunately, it can last. So it's not just right after childbirth. It can last for many years after. When should you really be going to the doctor? Well, anytime there's any health condition that's impacting your quality of life or causing you discomfort or embarrassment, you really want to get it checked out. Um, this, this technology that I described, you know, is actually available without a prescription, uh, but I always encourage discussing these issues with your doctor and then making sure there are no other issues going on as well. Dr. Rashini Raj, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Have a great day.